Yay! It Yay! Worked. <laughs> what the hell did we read? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh my god. It was painful. It was so painful. Why? Why do you do this? <laughs> because I hate myself. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> I really don't. Oh my it was god. so bad. It really was. It was so bad. It was so bad. So oh bad. God. I took like eight of notes. Oh, hey, we have oh, a yes. friend. Hi. Hi. Thank you for joining yes. us. Thanks for joining our suffering. Yes. That was, Thank you so much. It was a book. It really was uh, a I, book. Choices were made. Choices were... See, here's the thing. So Linda told me that this was Agatha Christie's most controversial book. And I was like, oh, finally. Somebody's talking about how freak racist. No. No, they were not. That is not why it's the most controversial book. Silly me having hope <laughs> that someone called Agatha Christie out. <laughs> No. Oh, I knew it wasn't going to be because of like bigotry or racism. I just knew in my heart or whatever I, I have instead of one. I just knew it wasn't that reason. And like devil's advocate, I can see why it's called the most where okay, most controversial. But it really shouldn't be for so many reasons. Oh yeah, we're reading more of her books. Um, <laughs> why did I do this? Oh, right, because I made her my mortal enemy, and thus I have to suffer for that. <laughs> She's my mortal enemy, too, now. Hold on, I have to see which book <laughs> taken up at the flood is, like, how far into our uh, adventures. We got, like, 29 books left. Oh, lovely. So you can't see how Keep wide my eyes got when you said that. I was like, <laughs> we're going to die. Oh, yeah, this is her 28th how dead book. my eyes are? <laughs> oh, God. And and I know TV. You said that her like later books are worse. So I'm kind of scared. Like you you kind of scared me a little bit when you told me that. Oh God. Also, make sure you don't spoil or uh, uh, the murder at the Orient Express for Linda because she doesn't yeah, know I'm it. I'm trying yet. to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. I gave up on this book because I just honestly didn't care and like kind of <laughs> okay thought? with that. Yeah, what? Uh, I don't know. How, like, how maybe if I paid attention, but like, I don't. I, like, I see it, but like, also, fuck you, Agatha Christie. <laughs> Your thoughts, Knox? I see it in retrospect. <laughs> I see it in retrospect. But I remember reading the book and going, okay, so it can't be this person because they're just going way too obvious um, with this person. And they're going way too obvious, but I was still like, okay, but it has to be somebody we've met. Mm -hmm. It was somebody we and met. I was like, it couldn't be that obvious. I keep thinking it can't be that obvious, but she is just that obvious as a writer. Oh my gosh. And in retrospect, yeah. certain things made sense. But she really just didn't. She was like, let me just not lay down any of the basic work so people who like this can try to understand. Like, here's the thing. It was done cleverly, and I hate to say it, it was done cleverly, and, and then there were none. Yes. Like, exactly. that murderer, that was done so mm -hmm. well. I still hate her. I still hate that book. So much. So much. So much. Yes, agreed. Agreed. Oh, don't say her later works get bad. Fire. Yeah. Her, her early books aren't good. <laughs> no. She was trying it all. Honestly, at that point, you're just in it for the coin. You'd be like Linda's I'm, not gonna like the twist. I'm telling you right now, Linda's not gonna like the twist. I'm scared now. No, I'm I'm gonna okay. get it messages like this. Is oh. <laughs> it can't be as bad as this book. Like legitimately can't be as bad as this book. Should we give background on this book? Or like we, I don't know. Uh, how are we gonna how are we, how are we doing this? Because I kind of like, should we? I don't recommend anyone. They really read just turned into us in five minutes, which. But. Yeah. So this is the, uh, what, the fourth Agatha Christie book we've read? 
Or is it the, it's the and fourth, said, right? Because we read, and then there were none. Styles, the golf book, golf hell. Oh, okay. And mm-hmm. this. Yeah. Um, and none of them were actually good. Four, <laughs> four is the number of, de- um, also means like death in Chinese, like in Mandarin. In all, no, in all languages of Chinese, like four and death. They sound the same. My so, mom turned 44 this year, and her friend literally told her that. It told her she has to wear red all year. <laughs> and so my mom got like a red Fitbit band. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not a good excuse, TB. Don't be devil's advocate for this. That's not an excuse. You should get better after 50 years. Oh my god, okay, sorry. I'm getting That's angry. <laughs> so usually here's the thing. So usually, um when it comes to debut authors, I always give them a second chance if I hate their book mindlessly the first time. Because mm-hmm. you need to get like you got the first book out of the way, you got the feedback, and then you grow from this, right? So when the mysterious spirit style sucked, I was like, okay, golf hell is gonna be <laughs> be better golf hell (laughs) this book sucks so hard linda and i just finished the book we both just finished the book Mm -hmm. because it was a drag it really was we were planning on doing like one um like one hercule perot book a week and we were good (laughs) for the first one we were good we made great time and then this took us this book. I'm like literally in a reading slump. This was the second book I finished this month, and I hate that it was. Oh my god! And it's and it's February too, so it's like the worst month. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, and I knew the moment that Roger Ackroyd was gonna die. Wasn't it obvious? Like, oh, oh so yeah. now he's about to like, die right now. I, mean, I was just the fact waiting that, for that. The book's called The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. But it's like, when he was like, I can do this later. <laughs> yeah, sure you can, buddy. <sighs> this book sucked. <laughs> it really did. I wonder if people are going to join, like, randomly at one point, thinking that we're like, oh, Agatha Christie's the best. Fuck Agatha Christie. I'm going to keep saying that for like every five minutes. I still haven't looked up British libel laws either. So like. <laughs> so messages. Are you are either you saying how you need to look up British libel laws or saying that you want to take a crowbar to Jason Todd? <laughs> Por que no dos? <laughs> Got it. <Yes. laughs> Uh, we're trying to think of happy things because that book was just garbage besides the fact that it was absolutely boring oh my god so boring that's why I had to make the like water wait I mean you can libel the dead we should that might be my project in the future first thing I do when I get a law degree like when I get my law license that's what I'm gonna do (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the funny thing was we also looked up the current CEOs of uh the board Agatha of, Christie's like, board of director. Yeah. Yeah. It's um very telling. It's not promising. Yeah. It's not. The worst part is the legal representation. I don't know. Should we go into the details or not just like say it's just by all means? Okay, you know what? We're in America. Yes. Wait, is, that, is it for us to I, I have like three classes on like literally the constitution and the bill of rights that I'm taking. So like, fuck everything. <laughs> so I read we, a book about the constitution. Let's go. I'm reading so many like articles and like stuff on it. It's not even funny, but I'm I'm having. We fun. should be Supreme anyway. Court justices. <clears throat> what? No, God, no. <laughs> I not mean, security. Arguably, I still I have more morals than two of potentially three of the Supreme Court justices on the seat right now. But probably more than three. No, yeah, probably. But anyway, 
Um, so the person who's like head of legal representation for the Agatha Christie Corporation, what's it called? Group is a man who is okay. a person of color. So yeah, not great. Not great. Like I get it. You need that coin, but morals should kind of be above that, especially with this what she's coming from the woman who has texted me saying that she's selling her soul to corporate to become a corporate lawyer. <clears throat> but literally, there's, still so there's got two more, people. More than that, I'm just oh yeah, you two people. Color. <laughs> <laughs> there's only two. We were like. <laughs> This is just for us now. This is essentially our big magic. <laughs> it is big magic trademark symbol. It's just <laughs> I so my thing was I love mysteries. I love crime shows. I love Same. murder, not murdering, but like murder, <laughs> like stories, true crime. <laughs> In how many times I message Linda about serial killers, it's just like all the time. We have a just, count in our group chat, literally on days. <laughs> We've each made counts. We have a little counter. It's fan. <laughs> but I, so my fa- my both of my parents were like, you should try Agatha Christie. You know, you love mysteries. I'm sure you'll love her. And now I question if my parents know me at all. <laughs> because I, I read and then there were none. And I was like, oh, she races and homophobic mm-hmm. and xenophobic and Mis- anti-semitic and misogynistic and misogynistic like yeah. all the yeah. holier than thou everything i'm like oh my god so much but a lot of people because i got like on twitter like you don't know what you're talking about like people ask me to cite a page so i'm like listen i can cite <laughs> it it's called page one through the end of and then there were none get off my case i'm an english <laughs> major get off my case. <laughs> um <laughs> I'll write you an essay MLA format. Let's go. No. But <laughs> yes, MLA format all the way. <laughs> I love MLA. Um, I just wrote it, one in APA for the first time and I'm still reeling. It was terrible. APA makes no sense. Well, I, I learned it in like 15 Whatsoever. minutes. Whatsoever. But I was like stressed out writing there's, it. So, but yeah, MLA is so much better. It deserves to be a victim in a Christie novel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they're like, well, every character in that book is meant to be a terrible person. And I'm like, okay, I guess you're right. So then we read Styles. I hate that book so much. There's so much wrong with that book. Especially since, um... Hastings, his stupid name was Hastings, right? I blocked it out of my mind. Yeah. But like, yeah, was he was like, he was simping over some 17 year old trim the entire book. What the fuck? That was not 17 year old was the last book, uh, Golf Hell. Sorry, Golf Hell. No, I, I, first book he's simping over his friend's wife. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. He just simped over the wrong people. Like, the worst possible demographic of like female demographic that's he, what he goes for he which oh god he said um what did he say he says we're like she was too beautiful to commit murder idiot such a goddamn idiot and like the only thing i liked about um roger Ackroyd is that um hercule actually okay, called things wasn't in it called yeah, that too. And that, like, Hercule actually called him a dumbass. Like, not literally, but, like, I have it written did. down, the quote. I have it written down. He said something Hold like, on. I had a friend who considered all women um, pure and most full or something like that. Uh, okay. Sorry, my, like, uh, I don't know. My connection is kind of terrible. So if I, like, end up. Oh, mine is too. Oh, uh, Okay. <laughs> We're in this together. Yeah. Hastings Hate Club, let's go. Yes. Okay. I don't oh god, I wrote too many things down. Oh, yeah. oh okay. He I, said, I highlighted like, stuff something about it. He said like he was talking about his old friend and like he um captured like the perfect 
an, an imbecility to make one afraid to figure um figure to yourself that I even missed his stupidity, his naivete, his honest outlook, the delight, uh, the pleasure of delighting and surprising him with my superior gifts. Like, go, Hercule. <laughs> he is. Hercule's is the dumber, only character you know, we like. Script. Yes. Which is great Anyone? because Agatha hates him. <laughs> <laughs> and I read this via audiobook, so I wrote, like, word for word all of that thing out. <laughs> because I just felt so vindicated. <laughs> it was funny because last book, uh because we messaged each other while we we're reading it last book i had said some linda's like when does her hastings leave i'm like well i think he gets married at some point and then we meet cinderella and I'm like watch this be his wife she goes he's she's 17 i'm like oh yeah okay never mind <laughs> she's right she's right <laughs> she was right Oh, spoilers, but also don't read this here. <laughs> yeah, th- just don't read this. <laughs> I yeah. Mean, I feel like you already read this because you agree that yeah. these things is down as bricks. And uh, you told us to prepare ourselves. Yeah. If you ever want to be a guest host, TV. <laughs> yes. If you want to come suffer with us, yes. hit us up. Come and suffer <laughs> with us. Also, I get so mad every time they bring up South America. <laughs> Oh my god. They played Mahjong in this book. Why? Linda looked up the rules to Mahjong. I don't know. My grandma used to play it. Um she's she's gone, but like she used to play it a lot and like to the point where like she gambled via it. And yeah, I don't know how to play, so I looked it up and yeah, no, that's not how you play. They got one word and they kept screaming it out. And you're not supposed to scream out those words. Oh my god! I told Linda, I'm like, why are they acting like mahjong is just like bingo? Oh my god! It isn't bingo. You're supposed to scream out one phrase when you win. That's it. And they kept screaming out like they literally kept screaming out like chi and chong, and it was just like, oh my god, why? She doesn't play Mahjong. I know Agatha Christie doesn't play Mahjong. Why? TB. I feel like uh, world history can be summed up by the Brits were being weird. And by weird, we mean colonizers. Let's call it. Let's be Ooh. real. <laughs> da, 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 da. Colonization. <laughs> Doubly so, since like I'm, I'm Chinese and American. So twice over <laughs> both my cultures <laughs> i'm mexican-american so i got beef with spain yeah <laughs> uh, but i also have beef with everybody who did the slave trade because i'm african-american so oh yeah, yeah. well they they also lynched us too in in this country so Ooh. i'm with you yeah yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Ooh, just POC things. <laughs> I'm laughing to cope with the just the uh, that. Oh my god, we're gonna think about so, like history. We're gonna recommend like BIPOC um, mystery authors at the end of this, and the next, the next one. Should we do the next one of BIPOC, or do you want to just jump into the sign of four? <sighs> well, here's the thing. So I'm, here's what I'm trying to think. You know what, TB, you help us with this. My my thinking is, one, if we jump into the sign of four, we get through her stupid books faster. Yeah. But also, I just finished reading Roger Ackroyd. Same. So I really check myself to the next book so soon. Yeah, that's true. I feel definitely if we're doing another Hercule, we got to do it in like a week find a way like i know yeah. we both have like classes at the same time <laughs> we're literally class at the same time. yes <laughs> we're thousands of miles away but we're classmates which is honestly yeah. mood <laughs> it's so, yeah it makes me actually go
So yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts, TB? Since you're our audience. <laughs> yeah, tell us what to do. <laughs> Let me see. How long is the sign of four? Two hundred and eleven pages, I believe. I, I I was preparing myself with knowledge. How long was this? See, I put the sign of four, and all of a sudden, I get Arthur Car. Car- blah, blah, blah. Brain reloading. I get Sherlock's dude. Oh, did I Sherlock's did I say the wrong one book title? Then I might have said the wrong book title. I say binge read all of her books in a month. Yolo, why do you hate me? <laughs> no, no, TV, no, no. I'm putting my foot down. I gave us a year. That is 56. Wait, is there like 56 weeks in a year? There are 33 books. That's enough leeway. There's 52. 52. There's Close 52 enough. books. Well, years. I, this is why I switched out of chemical engineering. I don't do numbers. The big four. Oh, that's so stupid. Hold that's on. So do you know how stupid. irritating it is to me that the big four is technically Hercule Perot number five? I just hate all of her, like, they're so, like, all of the titles are so uncreative, and I yelled, like, I kind of ranted at you about this early on, too, when we were trying to mentally prepare us, ourselves for this. Yeah. <laughs> Linda ranting about this is part, probably the best part of this stupid buddy. <laughs> Aww. I, I love your messages. ranting, too, Knox. Thank I love you. your ranting, too. I just get messages like, what the hell did I just read? <laughs> Stupid. What? Stop sending on my 17 year old. <laughs> and then I have to explain the age of consent. It's different. <clears throat> Thank you, TB. Thank you. They are. They're they very really unoriginal. Are. They really are. They they they're oh like the God. murder of the murder at like I I will never like uh, my my first like my title for my first book that's in the works <laughs> give me three years before I publish but like it it's it's a great title I'll tell you after the stream see <laughs> murder on Sunday murder in Africa murder in- it really was. It just really, it really. Please pick up sobriety. Well, I was going to say, and then there were nine. It's technically different, but uh, that wasn't the original title. She even stole that from the song, didn't she? So she didn't even make that up. Like, it, oh, God. 70 times that word came up. Oh, my God. I think you're from, I don't, oh, okay. There we are. Our internet is oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Agatha Christie Core, you should sponsor us. <laughs> so we can have better internet. <laughs> Just kidding, I won't take your blood money. <laughs> I'm sure this is exactly what they had in mind. They just want money, good point. <laughs> Oh I refuse to buy her Oh yeah. Her I'm not gonna buy her book for this buddy. I said I'm so glad they're all in script. Same. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I've got you theoretically. <laughs> we don't know what you're talking about. We don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> what what bodies? <laughs> Should we go? Uh, uh, should we go into spoilers in about like six minutes? Yeah, we can yeah. go into spoilers. And... All right. So, um, this book's a hot mess. <laughs> it really is. But well, we should probably d- describe what it is. So, so essentially, right. you can go knock. Uh, I'll say. So there's this dude. His name's Roger Ack. Freud. He's murdered. And throughout the book, it's never clear why until we find out who the murderer is. 
And it's you the had a thing. reason possible. It is. It's so dumb. And it's the wrong person to murder, to be perfectly honest. Exactly. Oh, God. It's just... I'm like, he has, like, a dinner party, which I'm never having a dinner party in my life, because it seems that's when everybody dies. I'm having a dinner party. I'm going to have lots of dinner parties. <laughs> if if someone dies, it is. It just seems is. like whenever somebody has a dinner party, that's their last meal. It's not going to be my last meal. Like, at least like, in these books. If... Sending out the racist herd. Knock. Sending out the racist herd. Have more dinner parties. <laughs> that means I have to invite a racist to my dinner party. I want to eat with racists. Trump, hit me up. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> but he only eats, like, KFC and McDonald's. Merc. <laughs> Let's not get more nah, blacklisted uh, than possible. <laughs> oh, does it? I live in California, so it would be in and out I haven't had in and out because, like, I'm on the East Coast. I always forget it doesn't exist on the East Coast. No, we got five guys, which is... We have five guys, too. Uh, why don't we have in and out God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and to Honestly, answer TV's comment, I, 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 I has... hope to live in a house where, where there's going to be, like, a nice uh, dining room, like, area where murders may occur or may not occur. <laughs> <laughs> murders may occur oh uh, I don't have the room I, for a dinner party <laughs> if I get married dear lord help my husband <laughs> I was up to you and be like dude I wish you luck don't feed her after midnight <laughs> <laughs> I am a gremlin I really am <laughs> we both Mysterious from mysterious Asian origins. <laughs> want to live in a giant castle? <laughs> See, I was just like, I just want that home security, you know? I don't want to have to worry about rent. <laughs> like, I've told people my standards for where I'm going to live is I want to own this home. I want it to have an air conditioner. I want it to have a heater. And that is it. <laughs> I didn't hear the last part after heater. <laughs> that that's it. Oh, I want air conditioning, okay. heating, and I want to own my house because that is stuff that I have never grown up. <laughs> mm. Like I got made fun of for not knowing how to turn on an AC. I'm like, I don't have an AC. Can you just see people's faces? Yeah, that's just those people were dicks. Like not everyone has AC. It's a luxury. Thankfully, I grew up with that because I would have melted by now. I can't do I can't do heat. <laughs> Nox knows this about me. I can't do heat at all. Don't know if I froze or she froze. How are you doing, TB? Better pull this up. How are you doing, TB? Oh, I'm gonna text Knox. <laughs> Apologies for the technical difficulties. I return. <laughs> I was just about to text you. <laughs> the funny thing is, I pay for this internet. <laughs> and I'm, I'm sad because I know exactly how much my terrible internet cost me a month. I got scared <laughs> that you got, like, um, it froze again. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not read than what I read to <laughs> Yeah, I wish I didn't read, too. 
Also, I see that you're holding up the Poppy War in your picture, so I see that you are a person of taste. I love the Poppy War. Oh, I'm still, I'm kind of scared to read it. It's a lot. Like, just, a lot. I just, I, I don't like the idea of a Mao, even if it's gender bent and te- like a teen Mao. Like, I really hate Mao Zedong yeah. with a burning but You should not head. read it then. Don't read it. Um, like, when people okay. say trigger warning for everything, they really do mean everything. I don't, I don't care about the bloodshed. It's just, I don't like Mao. Like, really, like, I would punch him in the face. Like really? Time. You don't like Mao? I'm so shocked. This is completely <laughs> new. <laughs> oh. Information. <laughs> like, the things I've written to not. The, like, the, like, the Chinese, like, the Communist Party probably, like, definitely has me, like, on their radar. Like, I told her years ago. Like, I literally had, like, yeah. a blurry, like, a dude from like wearing a suit, a Chinese, like a middle-aged Chinese man with a blurry picture and a name that I couldn't read, like accused me of being like a Clinton puppet. Oh my God. And this was in high school, like, yeah, junior year high school. I know you want to go, I know you want to go and visit, but can you just like, (laughs) I need it for research and I want on the dim sum, okay. I want a, like real legit Chinese dim sum. I know you want legit ty- Chinese dim sum, but come on. Hey, my parents actually, and this surprised me, promised that they wouldn't let someone drag me away. Like, no questions asked. Well, like, if some, like, if a like suit or cop just pulls up and says we need to quite, like talk to her, they said they won't let them. You got that going. <laughs> I went, hey, that that surprised me. <laughs> I one time asked Linda, so why does China hate Hong, Hong Kong so much? <laughs> the worst part, TV, the worst I part. I found out why. <laughs> I, I could write like a whole like 500 page dissertation on it, legit. But yeah, TB. The worst part is I was critiquing um, Hillary's run, like some of her policies, and then I got that tweet. So it was like, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> that would be like me calling you a Hellblazer fan. I'm so surprised no Vertigo fans have come at me yet. I need more clout. I need more clout for more trolls. <laughs> We were doing this thing. I'm gonna post on my TikTok, and um, the question was favorite DC comic run. And as a joke, I just looked up the cover for Hell Bla- Hellblazer or Hellraiser. I don't even know what it is. Hellblazer. Sadly, Hellblazer. Sent it to Linda, and Linda was just like, "I'm like, nah, I'm kidding." <laughs> I literally, my heart literally stopped. Like, I just like I was so like it was it was breaking. Like, I would never not, like, unfriend someone because of, like, what they like. But it hurt me. It just hurt me. We should be talking about the book. The other I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> so, we reached the Agatha, okay. Agatha Christie spoilers part. What the fuck? Why was it the doctor? What? Is this, like, the creation of the... Unreliable narrator trope. Is her thing like is her like commonly used trope just like suicide like at the end? Oh, that's what right. I'm thinking. Can I please that hypocrite hip, hip, hypocritical little? Oh yeah, totally. And I looked it up too. The thing that he took was like barbiturate or something. Yeah, barbiturate. So I'm trying to find the quote that he said. That makes me want to punch him. Oh, I probably have it written down too because I got really uh, mad at this it. This is a trigger warning. He says some bad stuff about suicide. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, um, it's like Mrs. Ferrosi died mysteriously, and then people. Uh, no, no. I just like wrote my thoughts, which like most of it near the end was just like boring. What the fuck? Read it. I've got you. I've got you. This is about Mrs. Uh. 
I keep wanting to say Ferrero because of the Ferrero Rochers, the little chocolate things. I think that might have been it. I don't know. Ferrosi might be it. I wasn't. I I really need to something like that. Anyway, has here. she taken my surely if she had? Had she taken her own life, surely if she had done so, she would have left some word behind to say what she complimented do, comp- contemplated doing. Women, in my experience, if they once reach the determination to commit suicide, usually wish to reveal the state of mind that led to the fatal action. They covet the limelight. Go to hell, doctor, whatever your stupid name is. I will see you in hell. I think, no, I was going to say Hastings for some reason. It's um Shepherd. <laughs> Dr. Shepard, John Shepard, you friggin' sheep. I'm like, is that a character from Grey's Anatomy? I don't know. Derek Shepard, right? Yes, no, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah okay, yes. I remember. Yes, I, I remember things. <laughs> I, I, I watch the show like, my mom and my cousin do. I watched like 20, over 20 seasons, but then I stopped. It's just, it wasn't good. No, the book or the show? The show. Oh, I, I I don't mind trash. I I watch Riverdale to like decompress. So I I I brought you in on this hell like journey to hell. So you know I'm I don't mind trash. I subsist in it. <laughs> <sighs> he just him being the murderer literally makes no sense until you put everything behind in retro really? retro. Because it's because of the fact that he's the narrator, everything's like omitted essentially. Yeah, like, everything that's a, important. And they they kind of like use it like, oh, so this is his suicide note, kind of right. like the. Yeah. Sorry, I you cut right? off for me. I'm sorry. Of course, I did. <laughs> so, so they kind of use it like, oh, the book is like his suicide note, right? Talk yeah. about coveting the limelight. God, but seriously, if this yeah, was well, his note, wouldn't he explain yeah. how he killed them like during the actions? Like, so this, 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 and this. Why are you gonna omit everything? Seriously, it's just so goddamn annoying. Like, and like, I'm mad, even like, like they focused on the stupid chair more than like the other things. If I knew the like area of the room, I probably should have read the ebook or like. I don't want to fit. It has a. It has like a yeah. picture of the layout. Yeah. It doesn't help. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I I have good <laughs> facial like, I have a good like mo- imagination sort of. I'm an artist. <laughs> I imagined it correctly. It didn't help. I'm an artist. <laughs> oh God. Seriously. So- seriously tv it was so annoying and it wasn't i don't know it felt like really like just not well done either like there are instances where there's like narrators that are really unreliable but it's done well and there's descriptions of every like other things that make distress you from the fact that they're not describing the crime this was not the case one of the books i complain about unreliable narrators all the time is the wicked deep by shay earnshaw which this is a book I liked the writing of, but there's a twist two thirds where you find out there was something that kind of made mm. it unreliable that just retrospectively ruins the whole book. Oh, okay. And that's what this did. Mm. One that I do like, but it's not like, it doesn't matter that the dude's unreliable, but it adds to it is, and I know people are going to come at me for this, but like, they're already going to come at me. 1984 by Anarchist Orwell. <laughs> it's one of my favorite books. Like, yes, dude who wrote it was an asshole, but I don't think he was a misogynist. I think he just hated everyone, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Valid. But yes, um, Winston, the main character, is really just super unreliable. He's an asshole, but like, you still are along for the ride. You still care despite it being just a really, really, like, depressing book. But, like, it's, I think it's still an important read. If you want to read a British author, he's British, right, Orwell? The, if you want to read a white, white author... I think so, hold up. Maybe better that one. <laughs> I don't know. Read BIPOC authors instead. 
Is he BIPOC author? Yes, he's British, but he was born in India. That's just remember. Extra, that's just extra colonizer. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I remember the Brits uh, took over yeah, India yeah. for the spices. Yeah. Never learned how to use any of them. You know. Seriously, this book was like the unspiciest mystery, murder mystery ever. Like they literally just sucked. Where was out the flavor? All the, like all the good. Like like there was hot, like there might have been potential. Can we talk about how every time Agatha Christie mentions South America, she calls the natives savages? Yeah. And then oh, talks about how they butchered the Spanish language. I have it. I have the quote uh, quote um, in chapter two. Do you want me to read it? Please do. Okay. So background. Shepard is talking with um, Roger Ackroyd's housekeeper because they're all bougie, rich white people. And um, they're talking about poisons. And um, Shepard says, if possible, something from South America, something that one obscure tribe of savages used to poison their arrows with. Death is instantaneous, and Western science is powerless to detect it. And that's just the beginning. My thing is, <laughs> wow, my voice. <clears throat> wow, my voice. Hold up with the puberty like twice right now okay anyways so my thing is one that's racist as all hell two if someone has a poison that your science can't detect your science is your science sucks <laughs> i'm glad he's dead but also he should have like i i what i kind of hope like, I wanted him not to be. Like, I'd rather have him, like, live and suffer the consequences and the shame that goes along with it. Like, why the hell did Hercule let him kill himself? That's an easy way out. Um, that's why it's controversial. Yeah, that's the reason why this book is controversial. Isn't it? Not that's why it's controversial? I'm, I'm guessing. I thought it was controversial that's because of the twist itself. Like, because people are like, oh, how could the narrator be the murderer? Uh, I, I feel like it was done, like, she wasn't the first to invent this, so. Yeah, but. Maybe it's the cocaine. They probably did it better. I'm trying to think, like, not with all the bigotry in mind, which you should always have the bigotry in mind. That's literally the reason we started this, because people don't seem to have the bigotry in mind when they recommend this. Seriously. And then the excuse is, well, she was a white lady in the 30s in England. Racism was still bad. <laughs> like, there, there were, are, like, there was, oh, God. You go first. Like, when you read classics, because people are like, well, well, you have to understand, like, listen, I'm an English major. My entire academic life has to revolve around me reading classics by people and then having to pay attention to the like you don't excuse the racism you mention it you still have to take into account that yes it was in a certain time but you still discuss it <laughs> and people are like well back then you know this wasn't racist I'm like no it was always racist it was just excused but you're still excusing it we still talk about hp love craft and how super racist was I don't know. I haven't read. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's shaking. I don't know. Maybe I feel like she wasn't. There had to have been. Didn't wasn't the first a study in Scarlet kind of that, or no? Because that was from the perspective of John, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure study in uh, study okay. in Scarlet's from John's. Now I'm looking up Wikipedia for <laughs> and. And here's my cat. I don't <laughs> complete block. I don't know. She might have been, maybe. I, I just kind of like it didn't really shock me that much. Aw, cat. Are you trying to save this? <laughs> save us, Artie. Save us. Artie supervising. 
When in the last dozen pages of Miss Christie's detective novel, the answer comes to the question, who killed Roger Ackroyd? The reader will feel that he has been fairly or unfairly sold up. Up to and kept the bouncing in his mind from chapter to chapter, the probability is for or against the eight or nine persons at whom suspicion points. Everybody in the story appears to have a secret of his or her own hidden up their sleeve, the production of which is imperative in fitting into place the pieces in the jigsaw puzzle. And in the end, it turns out that the doctor himself is responsible for the largest pit bit of retis. I don't know how to say that word. The tale may be recommended as one of the most cleverest and most original of its kind. <laughs> Wait a minute. Then I feel like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was a better plot twist. Because now it's not a plot twist. We quote it so much that it, you read the original and it's like you already know. But I feel yeah. like that was Chef's Kiss plot twist. <laughs> that was a good plot twist. I personally wasn't like, I'm not a fan of um, his writing, but um, yeah, it, I, I gotta like admit, still a good plot twist. Like, the execution of that story was great. Unlike yeah. this one. The murder of Roger Ackroyd is the supreme, the ultimate detective novel. <laughs> It rests upon the most elegant of all twists, the narrator who is revealed to be the murderer. This twist is not merely a function of plot. It puts the whole concept of detective fiction on an armature and sculpt into a data shape. It was not an entirely new idea, nor was it entirely her own idea, but he or she realized it was an idea worth having, and only she could have pulled it off so completely. Only she oh. had the requisite control, the willingness to absent herself from the authorial scene and let her plot shine clear. We'll see. Oh, God. Also bullshit. Just, there, there are, like, countless people who have done this. Like, there is no new idea under the sun. Like... Oh my god. But only Agatha Christie can pull it off. With the that sounds like a challenge. Cultural appropriation, yes. <laughs> only her. Sounds like a challenge. I'm just... <laughs> oh my goodness. What are your thoughts, Artie? What? Shepard's sister is like the Sir Timothy Marple. Wait, what? I already said this book sucks. <laughs> Car- the sister, Caroline, apparently was the like um, first uh, she was like the inspiration for Miss Marple. Christie's oh, other I famous know. detective. I Yeah, I know Miss Marple. Yeah. Oh god, no! She was so annoying and dumb. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Truly, truly. What like calling calling um people who wear really? like red lipstick whores and like just just being just oh my god that last book and this book like every female character in this book was just like written so terribly just to like I'm guessing prop her self up. Oh my god! Wait, did you see how he like talked about um how white Fiona was? I don't remember that. I just remember. Oh, I, got um, I just remember near the end, he kept like the doctor Shepard kept like just saying, "Oh, the maid was like a handsome girl," and he repeated that line like five times in the span of like uh, two sentences. Here we go. Quite a lot of people do not like Fiona Ackroyd, but nobody can help admiring her. And to her friends, she be. She can be quite charming. The first thing that strikes you about her is her extraordinary fairness. She has the real Scandinavian pale gold hair. Her eyes are blue, blue as the waters of a Norwegian fjord. And her skin is cream and roses. She has 
square boyish shoulders and slight hips. Good medical man, it is very refreshing to come across such perfect health. A simple, straightforward English girl. I may be old fashioned, but I think the genuine article takes a lot of beating. That's your sister, dude. No, that's not the sister. That's uh, Fiona. Oh, I don't care. She's so fucking dull. <laughs> but I was no, just like. Was so dull. It was so I, messed up. Oh, God. I was just like. The, <laughs> being like so (laughs) oh I heard good things about Miss Marple I mean I don't trust them now because I read (laughs) Agatha Christie (laughs) we're not doing him well do you want to do a Miss Marple no (laughs) hit me up after we finish our cue and then we'll talk but uh if if you want to read it old lady detective just watch murder she wrote jessica i forgot her last name is so much better than miss marple Mm. could ever be or if you want to support a poc um author and their series might i recommend case closed by I don't I don't remember his name but like it's a Japanese manga and anime series and it's one of the longest um running mangas out there this year the TV show is still ongoing too it's all creative detective stories like each ish um each episode slash like issue volume like centers around a different mystery and he keeps coming up with more creative stuff and I highly recommend it TBR adding. <laughs> oh God! My recommendation for someone to teach out in STEM is a mystery author, <laughs> because I suck. <laughs> it's a horror author, and Linda actually got me to read them. <laughs> so I'm recommending *The Ballad of Black Tom* by Victor Lavelle, because honestly, that book had more suspense more nuance but the actual twist i did not see coming and it wasn't i didn't see coming because it was badly set up it was i didn't see it coming because the author is amazing Mm -hmm. like i'm messaging linda in the group chat like did did they just is that what oh oh also he took the book by a super racist and flipped it on its head. And I appreciate people who say, screw you, racist. I'm going to make your work better. That's what I aspire to do with her stuff. No, I'm kidding. Mine, mine's different. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, such a good book. Ballad of Black Tom. Amazing. Yeah, it's not technically a mystery. It's technically a horror book. But there's, I feel like mystery fans would like it because mm-hmm. it's like, there's like, like on the edge of it, like it's yeah, because like, there, there's mystery to it. You're trying to figure mm-hmm. out what the deal is with everything going on. Yeah, but it's super good. The glare in my, I look like a freaking anime character. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I look super pink, and the light isn't helping. Okay, no, that's making it worse. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Kyo. Yes, simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this book i have no idea honestly what she was thinking when she wrote that twist seriously there's not even a lot we can talk like, about the book other than the twist because she didn't write anything in the book it really wasn't it was just like people it was just white people complaining about like money the entire time Thing. And then just like, oh my god, it was just extra annoying. It was just extra annoying because they're all living in this like nice ass neighborhood in this like small town, and they all have like estates and sh- like in like country homes and stuff like that. And I'm like, why are you complaining? Just shut up. <laughs> the and one, like, the one guy oh who was like, I'm in love with you, Fiona. I'm like, yeah, I saw that coming. Was yeah, that supposed to be a like, surprise? No, really not. No, legitimately, was that supposed to be su- a surprise? I don't even know. Was anything because oh dear, Halloween. Oh god. 
Yeah, I, I saw your what video on that. I saw your video, TV, and I I got scared. Is that an Agatha Christie thing? It's it's an Agatha no. Christie book. It's a Hercule Perot book. It's one of no. near the end. <laughs> near no. the end. No. God, no way. <laughs> so, TV, honestly. How scared should we be as we continue? Sorry, you cut off for me. Oh, God. Wait. I was just saying. <laughs> wait, how many books do... Oh, wait, okay. Oh, why did I think... I was thinking of, like, how many we had left and thinking of that mm -hmm. number being... Oh, my God. I yeah, well, because remember, myself. we're only reading the novels. We're not reading the mini so so stories. Yeah, or the plays. We we're not doing those. Because we don't hate ourselves. Yeah. That much. That much. No! I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to slide oh. down that slope. I'm ready. Like, I... I just like I'm I'm just gonna say it's research for my novel what not to do like for my mystery novel which is like I'm just I'm not gonna say too much about it because it's still in the works but yeah I just hate myself <laughs> <laughs> you're a great friend you're just a great friend Knox you're just a great friend going with me on Thank this you. ride to hell Linda still has to read super graphic so we can make a video complaining about it. Mm hmm And I've given, to be fair, because I'm not a terrible, terrible person. <laughs> Knox is picking all of our, like, BIPOC books, for, for at least and for the beginning, since I have roped her into reading all the Hercule books, because I owe her that much, at least, for all the buddy reads that she is done with me. And will do with me because of this series. <laughs> I get to control the next couple of buddies. <laughs> I'm a, you know, benevolent overlord, so I will. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> I, I have to. I've had to tell Linda she's not allowed to have a crowbar. Listen. No. I want to live a life where I need a crowbar to open crates. Maybe they're filled with art or boxes with wine in it or barrels of acid. You know, just just regular stuff. <laughs> I just want I'm I'm going for like big goals, big goals for my my future. Haven't done that before. <laughs> you also want, want to buy styles. Didn't you say you want to buy styles and burn it? To yeah. the Initially, I wanted to like set it on fire after I bought it, but like then I thought, why not turn it into an orphanage or something to like for children who like children of immigrants and Jewish people and everything, every person just wronged, which is every non-white male person or pretty or straight. female, yes, or straight. So like. Oh my Music goodness, you're going to be everything the Salvation Army isn't. Yes. <coughs> Corruption is not allowed. No money will be misappropriated under my I'm watch. Christian, I can say that, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's all you. I'm a, I'm like, a, I'm a heretic. <laughs> when I found out about this, I was so mad. Oh God, this book. Maybe the next one will be better. I'm actually hoping the next one will be slightly better. Like, the bar is low, and I know it's going to be racist or some some kind of bigotry, because of course it is. But like maybe the writing will be better. Literally every book we've read so far by her has had racism at some point because, and then there were none was everything exceptionally, yeah, yeah. And then uh, mysterious affair styles had the weekly blackface plays. Yep. Um, and then golf hell had. They, they would go to South America, but they didn't like South Americans. 
and once again called them things like called native people their savages and talked about how they ruined the mm -hmm. Spanish language and all sorts of stuff, which yeah. maybe if y'all didn't colonize them, they wouldn't have to learn Spanish. I think like on a scale to most races to least races, this one is like second. Like nothing can beat and then there were none, but this one was pretty bad. Cause it just it just hit different all types of BIPOC. Yeah, she hit everybody. Yeah, she really did. Oh god. Orient Express is gonna be fun for me, isn't it? So I don't besides the fact that it's called the Orient Express, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, that, the, the, twi the twist is not at least that I know of the thing that I'm thinking about that's gonna make you mad is not race based. Okay. It's story. Okay. I don't. I'm. I'm like. I'm keeping myself unspoiled. Like I'm going in blind. Like really blind. Like without my glasses. If you guess. Blind. If you guess it completely, you have to get it completely right. Okay. I will buy you another knife. Backstory. Um. <laughs> Nox gave me a knife for Christmas. If crimes increase in the um, Northeast, that's on her. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just using it to open boxes and possibly protect myself because I live in a bad neighborhood. But anyway, yeah, that's the, the first knife in my collection. Actually, should I show it? <laughs> Wait, is our knives allowed? Yeah. Okay, one set. <laughs> yeah. Entertain you should. Them, I think uh, you're fine. Entertain TV. <laughs> All right. No, two people. Two people. <laughs> Hey, there's another person here. Hi. Welcome to the chaos. It might just yeah. be me, actually, because I'm like, I have it pulled up. <laughs> it's probably you, then. I got okay. Linda a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I have it right here. It's literally like I sleep next, like it's like next to my bed because it's nice and it comforts me and it's pretty. Yeah, I have a knife next to me, too. <laughs> its name is Bob. Hey. Just wanted to name a knife, and I didn't want to name it like a female. Give it a female name. Don't know why. Just beautiful, very big. <laughs> Is Bob a spring loaded one? Yes. It took a while to okay. figure it out. <laughs> Please tell me how to do it without hurting yourself, because Jules got me a rainbow spring loaded one, and I don't know how to oh, not okay. hurt myself. Yeah, I had to look up videos. <laughs> why does my <clears throat> I think I might be coming down with a cold or allergies or something. My voice just went weird. Oh, I think uh, Agatha Christie just poisoned you. I have been feeling off today. <laughs> just off the and hell quicker than I expected. Now I really have to grind out my book sooner. Okay, you do it like this. Um, I do it weirdly, so hold on. Okay. So I put my thumb here and then um, pointer fingers on the other side. So, mm -hmm. and then. And you don't get cut that way? No, I don't get cut. You can do it with one hand too. Okay, hold on. Yeah. It's kind of harder oh. to do, but like I, I do it pretty quickly. So is the other side not sharp? Is that what it is? Um. Yeah, this one isn't serrated, Um. but I feel like if you just touch these and like don't touch near here which I don't you'll be mm -hmm. okay so just um focus on the larger like point on the other um where the knife comes out and then put pressure on it there this has become a very weird live stream <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we haven't scared TV away so I'm using that as like reference. <laughs> yeah, you're still here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Seriously. This this was uh <laughs> this was chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's a given. Whenever I'm involved in anything, it's usually chaos. <laughs> I think it's whenever the two of us oh my goodness, we're both gonna be on the same Oh, 
right, same sister or not the same uh, feminist life. Yes, we're both. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Rachel. Someone warn Rachel. <laughs> She should she should know. Like I think she's preparing herself. Like she has a few months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she has time. And I got something oh, with dude. you too, T B, but I, I'm not gonna say anything for now. Cause I, I, I probably shouldn't. But <laughs> yes. I'm jumping yeah. on all of my friends' channels. <laughs> you know, I've got Linda, uh I'm trying to get Linda to finish the stuff so we can have some more collabs. Namely, finish super graphics. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll read. I'll start reading it tonight. I might be able to finish it tonight. It's like I, really quick. Yeah, mainly because it's pictures. But <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna take notes too because I don't know. I just I'm in that school school spirit mm -hmm. now, so like I just I'm taking all notes everywhere. I feel like between the two two of us, we could we could do these live shows and something just because somehow our messages turn into comics <laughs> often <laughs> namely me telling you you're not allowed to be damian wayne <laughs> listen it's not like i was born in a secret guild of assassins and i actually secretly have like three doctoral degrees on murder or something <laughs> I just think that his brass knuckles are cool and his swords are awesome. And he has the best Robin costume by far. I'll give you that. He has the best Robin costume. He really does. I love the hood. It's just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no crowbar for you. Why not? <laughs> because you can't Damien Way. Underscore husband would let me. I'm not. I'm not saying. Well, I'm not saying exact. I'm not saying the whole thing because, like, I don't want evidence. I don't want video evidence. Underscore husband. <laughs> I just want him to do good. Like, we don't have to. I just want him to be like happy and good. And I'm gonna stop simping on on air right now. <laughs> Zero day. <laughs> well, we've killed Linda. I'm back. Just the same way we killed Roger Wade. This book was garbage. Yeah. There's really no, no more we can say besides that. Seriously, um, it was. Words can't even talk about how garbage it was because. Agatha Christie didn't write anything of interest in this one. Yep. Like, I, I kind of want to recommend to our audience, like, they don't have to read these books, but they should just join in. For oh, us. you really, like, you really do don't. Thing. Yeah. The plots are on Wikipedia. You can just read that. Sorry, you're cutting out for me a little bit, but they, they. Oh, I said the plots on Wikipedia. Seriously. As long as you're just, cool with like spoilers and we're gonna like not do it until you're the end, you're good. We're good. Well, yeah. I'm still holding my I'm still holding Bob. <laughs> Put Bob down. I did, I did. <laughs> <laughs> but let it be known that I have agreed that if Linda gets the full thing, because I know Linda and I know her lawyer brain and I know she's gonna try to no, I wouldn't do that get me on a technicality. So Linda, the whole solution. How far do I need to for get to the in the book to like tell you my theory, though? Oh no, you you can tell me theories, and if you get, if any of your theories are correct, I'll give you the knife. Okay, you're you're a lot yeah. more lenient than I thought. Yeah, I oh, it's so that hard. <laughs> I would have been so much stricter. I know you would. I'm a. I said I'm a benevolent overlord. I'm not. <laughs> I know you're not. Hey, I said, like, you know my plan if I really get bored <laughs> and want to oh, give geez. up on, like, a normal life for, like, taking over the world. <laughs> there there was systems in place, like, things will get shut down and equality will reign. 
<laughs> but I will reign over that. <laughs> Oh, you're right. Well, I will write. <laughs> oh God, this is gonna be on your on your channel. <laughs> Listen, remember when I was in Yumi's channel and I said this lady sounds like she told me to pray away my depression. This is by least the worst thing I've said. <laughs> hey, I said on Yumi's channel that like my future is gonna be me in like New York City with rabies. <laughs> like that's on there. <laughs> See, we both. <laughs> oh Said God, this is fun. <laughs> oh my God. It's fine. If any like future employers or like coworkers find this, I'm just gonna tell them they're racist and I don't look like her. <laughs> See, I use a fake name. <laughs> well, it's like my na last name gets leaked. There are other me's out there anyway. So yeah. But also, like, See, that's like this is so for my actual name. <laughs> Wait, how about did I accidentally say yours? No, I don't think so. Oh. I'll say my. I don't think so. I hear it. No, I'll say my name. Yeah. No, you don't. My have to. like. No, I'll say my YouTube name is so far removed from my actual name <laughs> that I am fine. <laughs> I would just, I don't know why. I just couldn't come up with a different name. I'm just stuck with mine and I don't even like my name. <laughs> oh. Because oh. it's like the one descriptor. It's like describing the one thing I don't give a shit about. Like my physical appearance, I do the bare minimum of what's like. <laughs> I you say you do the bare minimum. You have messaged me asking if your makeup was okay for a video or if you had to refilm it. Okay, fine. There's <laughs> a level of narcissism to me. Welcome to calling Linda out <laughs> the street. <laughs> like, Meanwhile, I more. <laughs> I'm in the stream. And a pajama shirt laying down on my bed because I've been in pain all day. Woo woo. Oh, thank you for doing this with me. <laughs> it's all right. Let me laugh. It woke me up. I was so tired. This woke me up. Oh. I was reading Roger Ackroyd. Right, trying to finish and just like. Sorry, you cut out for me. Oh, yeah, I'm just like, I was watching, reading Roger Ackroyd. I was just like, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. oh my god that's why i had to do audiobook two times to like 1.8 to two times speed and have it loud mm -hmm. so i was paying attention <laughs> speed run it was just so bad it really was it's just yeah worst comment scares me just, just, just i want it to go down just glide into it just Fly down, fly, fly down the slope with me, <laughs> like a slide. All right. <laughs> okay. This will be fun, right? <laughs> this will be a blast. There's tears in my eyes on the inside. I'm crying on the inside. I've been crying on the inside since the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> I never said this was a good idea. You went along with this. It takes two to tango. Future lawyer. <laughs> oh boy. This is going to be an interesting year. It is. <laughs> you, do you want I'm to scared. decide on, on show? Well, if we should do um, the four book next or BIPOC? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me read the synopsis for the four book. Mm -hmm. yeah, Framed I want to in the oh, what? No, mm -hmm. I was I wasn't sure. Yeah, keep going. I was debating doing it blind, but like I don't care about this book. <laughs> <laughs> Framed in the doorway of Perot's bedroom stood an uninvited guest, coated from head to foot in dust. The man's gaunt face stared for a moment, then he swayed and fell. Who was he? Was he suffering from shock or just exhaustion? Above all, 
What was the significance of the figure four scribbled over again on a sheet of paper? Perot finds himself plunged into a world of international intrigue, risking his life to uncover the truth about number four. That sounds better, maybe. It, it does. It's more. interesting. Sorry. No, I was just saying it's it's uh it sounds more interesting. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh so I have some good news and some bad news. Would you like to hear the bad news? Oh, you cut out for me. Hold on. Oh, okay, you're good now. No, I have some bad news for you. Would you like to hear it? Hit me. They're not spoilers, but they're in it's about the book. Which one? The big four. Is it like revealing the culprit? No. Okay, then I don't care. Hey, six is back. <laughs> no! 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 God damn it, Cinderella! You had one job! One, one job! You were supposed to take him away from the series! No! Um, there's also another thing. One of the uh, characters is going to be a Chinese man. You know what? I'm okay. I've been called every. I haven't been called. I haven't been called Chinaman, oddly enough, but I've been called everything else. So, like, I don't care. So, I'm down. Like, she can't do anything worse than my childhood. <coughs> like, yeah. If she gets creative, I'll give him that. I'll give her that. Like, the, like racists, racists are rarely creative when it comes to, like, Especially like Chinese people, like Chinaman. John Mulaney did a whole thing on it. It has been really creative. Okay, sorry, I'm about to go on. Like a rant. one of the, one of the one of the things they say towards Mexicans is about beans, and it's like lots of cultures eat beans. Ooh, you're so creative. <coughs> Maybe your uh, culture should eat beans. Maybe it'll get yeah. the vitamins. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> there was this one girl who was doing like a living below the line poverty challenge for herself, but also making it vegan. And the whole part is she was trying to show how difficult it is to buy enough stuff to eat when you're below the poverty line. Mm -hmm. Um, she was trying to show like she's like, This is a week of my life. There are people who have to do this constantly. So it wasn't like a trying to be poor kind of thing. But she's yeah. also vegan. It's just trying to show, like, no, legitimately, I feel so exhausted. I feel tired. I don't have energy, you know. And she, like, had to use, like, every bit of money she had that she had allotted herself for that. And it still wasn't, like, enough for her to have energy. Yeah. And while I admire that, she bought beans. She made a pot of beans. And then she drained them. Why would you drain them? That's all the nutrients. You could use that for like, oh my god! You could use that for like soup broth or something. Like you could use that. For, oh my god! That You're was what made me mad. <laughs> that was what made me mad. Is um, is the bean juice has so much iron, like literally. That's like my grandma's like. We always like drink your bean juice and stuff like that because that's where the nutrients and the iron is, and. So whenever I think about beans, that's what I think of. <laughs> she was but also, I do, she did a really good job in the video, like, saying, like, I feel exhausted. You know, mm -hmm. I have a... She had a test at one point during the week she did it. And she was like, I have to study, but I don't have the energy to do it. Is it wrong that my mind so. went to, like, hypothetically speaking, if I went to, like, law school in Cali, if I have a class full of vegans, I'm good. <laughs> for, the, for the curve. <laughs> I, just need to eat I actually know a couple of vegans. I have no, a I, lot like, of vegans. Like, I respect, like, I, I'm not, like, disparaging veganism. It's just, like, I couldn't do it. I, oh, I, I can't like, either. And much. I told my friends that I can't do it. 
I could do like vegeta- vegetarianism or pescatarianism, but like not full vegan. It's too hard. I couldn't do either one. I like beef too much. Oh, I love beef. Love beef, pork, just everything. And chicken. Just all the meat. Okay, that sounds wrong. Exactly. I just couldn't do it. I don't like fish, but uh, yeah. My, my like, um, uh, my parents are from like southern China, so they're like it's very a coastal village. So it's all like I grew oh, up eating okay. fish and stuff like that. I knew how to like take like um, feel for the bones before I like like when I was a toddler. <laughs> nice. No, my family. Yeah. Well, both my cultures, I guess. Don't I don't know a lot of fish recipes for I mean it's like skin side it's like fish tacos but my family doesn't really eat a lot of fish mm-hmm. and then for black side my dad doesn't like fish mm-hmm. and my dad's mm-hmm. a black person in my family the black person between my parents um so I didn't grow up eating fish <laughs> with my soul food either so and, no, fish not it's not it for me I have mad respect though for the people who are vegan and POC because they they have to find ways to eat their cultural foods mm-hmm. and make them vegan, like yeah, like find vegan pandoles like, places, like vegan Chinese. You like if you go to a, like try to find a vegan place in Chinatown, I will guarantee like you likely won't find it because like everything, like we don't believe in veganism. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's true. It's no, true. I get you mean because of my. I'm from a cool. Where we eat a lot of beef. Yeah, we well, like we have vegetarianism because, like, um, like a good amount of like good percentage of Chinese people. I'm not talking like I'm not speaking for the entire culture. Like a good amount of them are Buddhist. Like I'm Buddhist. I was raised Buddhist. My mom like um, uh, does like vegetarian days or um certain like special religious days. Mm-hmm. I I can't get her to explain it for me. Like I've tried and it's but i digress um we have like veg- uh, vegetarianism but like veganism if you try to explain that i don't think that will go over well <laughs> like d- there is no like vegan dim sum that i can think of at all i feel like you could find one in california probably you guys are like less judgy of vegans <laughs> yeah like us east coast us east coasters are not <laughs> Yeah, Californians are just built different. <laughs> Maybe I'll find out. Yeah. Maybe when like things get okay, I can visit you and we can visit each Come other. Visit. Come and visit. Come and visit. I'll we'll go get to. soup dumplings. It's literally <laughs> down the street from where I work, but I don't know how to order. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I can teach you how to um like eat soup dumplings without burning your tongue. Thank you. I'll take you to to get bundle sick. Oh, sorry. You cut out for me. I said, I'll take you to get bundle sick. We've talked, we discussed this already. Like, there's plans been made. (laughs) We have. Linda just needs to come to California when there's no pandemic. I hope to travel, like, when there isn't. Like, I already have plans to, like, go to my parents' homeland because I was born here. I was the only one born in the state. So that's fun. That was fun. And she's probably the only one that they'll question when she lands. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, my my mom's, like, kind of, like, we just talked about it um, this morning when we were eating together. And she was like, oh... That's nothing's gonna happen. You're being silly. And then I was like, no. And then we went into like a discussion of how Mao is trash. And then my dad got really silent because he's like really pro communist. And like I was like, this is why. And I've said it online. And she was like, oh, maybe. <laughs> Your mom really <laughs> said maybe. She was. She just like was like, you shouldn't. You probably shouldn't say bad things about it. Because <laughs> like they they were born. Um, they were born and like grew up in uh China and then like moved to Hong Kong when like where my brother was born. So they're very of the party. Me and my brother are westernized. Although I, I like we still follow the culture. So it's like yeah. 
we mix. We mix cultures. Hey, exactly. I just remember There's no colonizers, <laughs> but like, hey. Like Linda in my DMs, it's just like this here is proof, <laughs> is reason enough. She's like, say hello to Spy Phone. <laughs> <laughs> Next live show live from Linda's interrogation. <laughs> no, I joke that, like, <laughs> yeah, I joke like it's fine. Like, sadly, Knox convinced me to like actually value surviving. Like, my main goal was like <laughs> my main goal was to piss off the interrogators, which like I am a master pissing people off <laughs> and like get them to snap because that's what I want I just want them to be so pissed that they like snap but like not said no <laughs> that I need to survive which is more difficult and boring <laughs> 90% of what our texts say is stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> it really is we're just like trying we both try to stop each other from doing crazy things <laughs> me stopping like Knox from feeding mermaids very deadly mermaids and like trying to hug a zombie she is trying to get me not like excommunicated and targeted by multiple foreign and domestic entities <laughs> don't forget we're also uh, taking over the comics industry yes Definitely. <clears throat> so we can give Barbara Gordon a good storyline. I still don't like her. <laughs> we can give her a good storyline. Can I, though? I don't know if I can do that. I'm not that good of a writer, Nox. <laughs> I still need to send you, like, up uh, my prologue. I want it. I want your thoughts. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We can do this. We can read the rest of her cool books. Yes. We can do this. Oh, we still need to yes. decide. <laughs> <laughs> we can decide off off stream. We can decide because like we know what the next Hercule is, but we we have like actually a good amount of um. BIPOC and LGBTQIA mm -hmm. authors, um, like the mystery, thriller, detective authors that we want to like also read and suggest to you guys. Because yeah, let's not just have an entire live show slash book club on bigotry. <laughs> yeah, we want to have some happiness in here too. Yeah, we want some enjoyment, and we're not going to get that from Agatha. We're Make not going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to look up the British Bible law. <laughs> I'm just still on the fact that 2020, it took them till 2020 to change the title in French. I mean, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about even like switching it up because like, I think you should just take out, like just not have that book out anymore because you're just like editing, you're rewriting history at that point. It's kind of like when people were, uh, there was the debate on whether or not they should replace it with the word with slave in, um, what was it? Are you a Huckleberry Finn? Um, Sawyer? No. You're, you're changing the book. You're, you're changing the book. Like, it's terrible. It's disgusting that they wrote those things, but you shouldn't like rewrite, you rewrite what they did because that's what they, they wrote. That, that was their intent. Yeah, call them out on it. Instead. Exactly. Yeah, condemn them. Like, don't freaking go. Like, if you're a descendant, don't just take the coin and not care. <clears throat> oh God, my voice. I think my voice has just like is about to get out because I've been we've been ranting about this book. Is that our cue? Hour. Is that our cue then? I don't know. I could still go. It's up to you. <laughs> I just need to plug in my computer before I die because it's about to give up too. All right. It's been an hour and a half, actually. Yeah. Annoying us, we're still going to be texting each other after this. 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, thank you, TB, for showing up and thank doing you. our chaos. We appreciate you. Thanks for telling me that Bless we're going to suffer for... more. <laughs> Bless you for saying this, Mom. <laughs> we appreciate you. Highly appreciate you. Yeah, we're going to say what, what we're reading next. Sorry, you cut out for me. Oh, so we're going to decide what we're reading next okay. soon, hopefully. Yes. Um, this book sucked. Oh, we didn't even give a rating. Zero stars. Zero stars. Sadly, yep. um, story Goodreads graph. doesn't have one star. I need to make a story graph, but sadly, Goodreads still doesn't do zero stars. But I did it in all caps, zero stars. This book is garbage. And we recommend totally never reading garbage. it again if you have. Yes. And don't read it if you didn't. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see what the next uh, next chapter is, I guess. Sorry, I couldn't. Oh my uh, God. Sorry. I couldn't hear you. My internet, between both of our internets, we're yeah. just struggling. Yeah, we really are. All right. All right. We'll figure it out. But thanks. Yeah. Linda's info is in the description. Peace <laughs> Bye. Out, scouts. Bye. How do I?